It's a massive weekend for pro wrestling and more specifically WWE because we're going into Money in the Bank and we're going to talk about some big news. We're going to kick things off with Bray Wyatt. Uh, this picture has been surfacing of Bray Wyatt on social media and it appears to be a recent photo of Bray Wyatt. Now, if you didn't know, WWE 2K had dropped a screenshot of Bray Wyatt as well as Uncle Howdy and it's expected that they're both going to be in the DLC which is a very nice surprise because they weren't obviously included in the game this year. But the reason why this is actually a big deal is not because of the game. It's because a lot of people believe that Bray Wyatt could be returning relatively soon. And honestly, WWE could be planning some serious returns for Money in the Bank. Not only Bray Wyatt, but we're hearing rumors of Randy Orton. We're also even hearing rumors of Drew McIntyre. So ultimately, WWE has something up their sleeve. And if you have Bray Wyatt return just around the time that the 2K DLC drops, that might might even entice sales further uh, for, for many people. So, look, here's the thing. Bray Wyatt looks healthy. He looks good. I've seen a lot of people in the IWC talk and assume everything about Bray Wyatt for when he missed WrestleMania, and I just don't think that's fair. You know, I think a lot of people were talking about him on a personal level, personal health, all of these different things, and I'm not one of those guys who like to assume things by health and you know, anything like that. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I do feel like Bray Wyatt looks good. He looks healthy. It looks like he's ready to return, which if he is, I think that's a great thing. I miss him on television. I want to see Bray Wyatt on television. And I think that's really what WWE needs to do. They just need to get him on television, right? I don't think there's really been anything necessarily wrong with his run, aside from the fact that he took this like massive break. Um, so if you're the WWE, it's time to get him back on television. Again, he looks he looks good. Like, he looks healthy. This guy doesn't look... I mean, he slimmed down. Uh, he trimmed down his beard and everything, too. But I think when he first came back to WWE, a lot of people use that as a concern. Um, and, and, again, I just don't like to dive into that type of stuff. That's just not what I do. Uh, talking about wrestlers on that personal level, um, as you guys know, I say it all the time on this channel, but health before wealth. Uh, to sit here and assume what his medical issue is or whatever it was, whether it was mental health or physical health or illness or whatever. I've seen so many different things being said about him, and I feel like a lot of people are making unfair assessments on Bray Wyatt based on the fact that there's he say, she say going around with Bray Wyatt. And that's just not something I necessarily like. I actually dislike that a lot. Um, but hopefully Bray Wyatt is returning soon. Keep in mind, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton are two names also uh, potentially coming back soon. Uh, guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about WWE NXT because WWE is making some massive changes here. I'm, I'm happy about this. Uh, WWE has been reportedly talking about taking NXT back on the road uh, for television and live events. Um, I think this is a great thing. Prior to the pandemic, we all saw NXT go out and about. They were doing very well with it, too. Honestly, NXT was doing very well. Um, and for years, you know, I think the whole thing is like WWE being at the Performance Center or being at the, you know, being at the, the Thunderdome or Full Sail or whatever you want to call it, right? Whenever they're in these like small little studio situations, you're attracting the same crowd. And I think the biggest issue, and I, this was actually my biggest complaint about NXT in like 2013, 2014, 2015. When you're constantly around the full sale crowd, you can't really know for sure who is going to work on the main roster or not because it's got this very, very small hardcore audience. And I always complain that sometimes the crowd at NXT tries to make themselves over at the show uh, and, and I don't like that necessarily. It's always been one of my complaints, and it's been that way for years. But the idea that WWE is talking about taking the road, taking the show on the road again, is a great thing, not only for visibility, right? It's a good thing for visibility, but it's another good thing to create a fresh product because you get away from the performance center, you go into smaller arenas. You don't even have to try to sell that many tickets. We know that NXT right now doesn't need to be in a 20,000 seat arena, right? We're not expecting that from NXT, but also at the same time too, I think there is this idea that if they take the shows on the road, it could be a really good thing. Now, keep in mind, we have talked about NXT and some major changes. Meltzer is also coming out talking about this, and I, and I actually agree with Meltzer here. Uh, you know, you guys know how I feel about some of the reportings, but I know specifically I've talked to people uh, who have attended NXT shows 
And there is this belief that we will see this massive change. And I think that's a good thing. Um, I think realistically for WWE, it's important that they do it for the overall growth of NXT, especially if Nick Khan is truly trying to take NXT and make it become the third brand. I definitely understand that. And, and I think this is what needs to be done. But again, smaller arenas makes the most sense. And then also house shows, right? I know there's a lot of talk about WWE potentially taking NXT shows on the road uh, for the house shows. I remember they came to Royal Oak uh, Music Theater uh, in Michigan, and that was a really cool venue for NXT. It was probably an expensive venue, but the show out was great. This was years and years ago before the pandemic, but it was just like really cool being able to see that. Um, I don't want to see them do big shows. You know, NXT to me is the intimate show. So do the shows, do the house shows, do the TV. Uh, and then, you know, if you're going to do TV and you're going to do these smaller arenas, Obviously, it's not at the Performance Center, so that would mean that it's probably going to get a new stage design. And I feel like if you're the WWE, you got to make NXT look different from Raw and SmackDown, right? Uh, and really, this comes down to our final topic of the video, because not only does it need to look different from Raw and SmackDown, but Raw and SmackDown need to look different from each other because WWE is exploring some more changes. And I've talked a little bit about this before, but now there is some more detail. Um, and really, Meltzer is kind of confirming some of the stuff that I've been saying with WWE making changes because Meltzer is coming out reporting that WWE is holding off on making major changes until the merger is completely done. Now, keep in mind, months ago, I said, listen. WWE is essentially going to have uh, new branding, new graphics, new logos, new presentation. They're going to try to differentiate the difference between Raw and SmackDown. But really, that comes down to two things, which is one, the Endeavor merger. And two, it comes down to the TV deals. Melter seemingly confirms that. Now, the thing is. There are major changes that WWE is looking at doing, and while there's no exact detail on what these changes are, it sounds like WWE could potentially be going into a whole different level with Monday Night Raw. Now, in the past, we've talked about Monday Night Raw possibly changing nights. We've talked about SmackDown possibly changing nights. So there's obviously a lot of things here. I think WWE, when you watch Raw and when you watch SmackDown right now, they're kind of hinting at it, right? If you look at SmackDown, SmackDown's kind of like the Hollywood, uh, you know, more theatric, more theater style show. When you watch Raw, uh, for the most part, there's more wrestling on that show. Um, and, and I think that could be a really good differentiator. But then if the, at that point, if that's the case, one of these shows definitely have to move to TV 14. Uh, I think we're going to see a whole presentation change. There's going to be a lot happening with WWE. And it's going to be really interesting to see how everything goes down. Because in the meantime, the merger is expected to end, what, later this year? maybe even soon uh and then of course you got SummerSlam and all these pay-per-views you got new championship belts being split up there's a lot of things happening and we've been talking about it all on this channel so as always guys don't miss out make sure you subscribe and i will see you next time